What's up, guys? This is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media, and welcome to another episode of Path to a Million podcast. Uh, this is a, a, an interesting week this week. We are uh, talking to experts all this week about what you can be talking to about your patients, uh, what you need to be doing in your practices, how you should be with your mindset, what you can be doing with your, with your staff. And so I have one of my favorite people on, one of the smartest dudes that I know when it comes to nutrition uh, and staying healthy, uh, Dr. Robert Silverman. So say hello to the people, introduce yourself to anybody who maybe doesn't know who you are. Thanks a lot, Dr. Nick. I'm happy to be here. My name is Dr. Rob Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health. Uh, I'm right here in the uh, epicenter of it all, if you will, in New York, right outside New Rochelle, right in White Plains. And we're ready to go to talk about what we all need to do to stay healthy. Awesome, man. Um, so today I wanted to bring you on because I just think you're such a uh, you're such an expert when it comes to how the body actually works, how the gut works, how the immune response works. And so I, what I'm looking for is, you know, I'm on Facebook a lot. So a lot of times when I create content, I'm like creating it for myself just to like learn more that uh, from people that I can really, truly like respect and, and believe. Um, so I see a lot of stuff on Facebook, half of which I don't know if is true or not. So I wanted you to come on. Uh, so for people that are wondering, what should I be telling my patients? What is actually backed up by, by proof and research? And what are just some simple strategies that they can utilize to number one, proactively stay healthy? And then number two, if they do test positive, what are some things they can do to keep the symptoms mild versus allowing it to spiral out of control? So let's start off with the, with the, the basics. Let's start off with the things that you recommend to your patients uh, to stay healthy with, and, and let's talk through that. Oh, really easy. So for my patients, I mean, it's going to be a multiple step thing. It's funny that you mentioned that because tonight all my patients are getting another constant contact, but we can talk about that because I know you know how to get in contact with people. The first thing and most easy is wash your hands. I know we all hear, we heard it, the debate people were talking about, it. wash your hands with soap and hot water. Um, in the office, I'm wearing gloves. I just saw some people when I walked into the medical building, they're wearing gloves. Be a little bit more diligent. We're talking about the social spacing, that six feet. That's great. Never been more important in lifestyle. And chiropractors are all about lifestyle. Get some exercise. I know the gym, where I am in New York in the tri-state area, the gyms are closed. You can still go out and get a walk. You can still exercise at home. Push-ups, planks, air squats, uh, lunges, things of that nature. Get good quality seven to eight hours sleep. And of course, if you have the opportunity, go get adjusted. Yeah. One thing I'll say about the exercise, just because I finally like pulled the trigger on it uh, the other day uh, because they're kind of, they're shutting down the, the gyms as well, is the Peloton app has a, a million different exercises and it's free for the first 30 days, I think with no uh, credit card. So I've done two body weight exercises the last two days and I'm sore, feeling good. So, uh, so anyway, that's just a, an, an aside, but, uh, but yeah, so make sure you're getting your exercise in for sure. Really. And we should piggyback on that. Everybody's got to exercise and, um, you know, that your home, you, there's a lot that you can do at home. Great idea. Yeah. Body weight, you know, get a good app. I know there's a whole bunch of our chiropractic friends are going to start putting uh, videos online to follow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like you said, the Peloton, great stuff. The, the, like if you get a zoom, uh, webinar account, like my webinar account has for like 93 bucks a month, um, you can have up to a hundred people on a webinar. And so, uh, if you wanted to do like live workouts, like if you have a gym in your practice, like we're going to start doing that, uh, for our patients, for our eight weeks to wellness, uh, patients so that they can keep doing their workouts. We're going to have our trainer doing like maybe two or three times a day doing it via zoom. So, uh, so you could absolutely do it yourself uh, as well. So let's talk about some of the nutritional things that, mm. that, uh, that they should be recommending uh, to their patients to make sure that their immune system is as strong as it can be. Well, let's start with food. It's never been more important to eat good quality food. So we want, I, I know the supermarkets are a mess. I know the shelves are a bear, but get the best whole foods you can. So now's the time really to stock up on fruits and vegetables. If you can get the wild fish, the grass fed beef, don't eat that processed stuff. I know the options are limited. Now's the time to eat because as Jack Lane said, if man makes it, I won't eat it. So you know what to order and to take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. Jim Rome food is a potentiator for inflammation. 
So we want to eat good food and decrease in inflammation. One, one thing about viruses that we really need to know, because that's all we're talking about right now. I do a lot of blood testing in my office and fascinating in that eight out of 10 of the people that come, I'm in the tri-state area, as I said, will be positive for um, Epstein-Barr and herpes. And they'll look at me and say, I never had mono. I never had a blister. So what that shows is that we as humans are exposed, but it can lie dormant. Yeah. And part of the reason it's not exposed with those individuals, they're in good health. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, we're good. We're good. Um, so let's talk about like what, so some, some basic things, obviously cutting out sugar, cutting out processed foods, no breads, no, no, no flour, decrease the, the, the dairy, anything that I'm, that I'm missing. No, no GPS, yeah. G, <laughs> GPS, no gluten, no processed food, no sugar. There you go. Take care of your DNA, no dairy, no nicotine, no artificial sweeteners. Perfect. That's it. You go by that. You should be really good. A couple of things you can consider also. Um, so there's home tests now. So for instance, um, I, like I said, I do a lot of blood labs. Yeah. So I do a lab. It's a food inflammation test. Mm -hmm. Never been a better time to see what foods you're inflamed by. Gotcha. Take the test, find out and say, wow, now that I'm home and I'm doing most of the cooking on my own, mm -hmm. I'm allergic to spirulina or broccoli, something like that. Let me take that out. In addition to what we just said about the gluten and the processed food, the no sugar, the no dairy, the no nicotine, no artificial sweeteners. Yeah. Remember that inflammation gets risen from foods that don't necessarily agree with your immune system. Right. And everybody's different. So that's, yeah, um, that's good. Um, all right. So let's talk uh, supplementation. Let's talk about things that they can be, that they can be doing uh, to help support the immune system. What are, well, what are some of the basics? You can't see what I have here. I've got a whole cornucopia stuff over here, but Let's, let's remind everybody, 80% of your immune cells are in your gut. So everybody's got a special virus protocol, and that's great, and I do. But the first thing is you want to ensure that your gut is healthy. Good quality probiotics, a multitude of probiotics. So you want to take live probiotics with biodiversity. Probiotics are good bacteria. They feed your intestinal tract. They keep your gut in health, in, right. in good lining. 80% of your immune cells are in your gut. It's where your macro and micronutrients are. Start with a good probiotic and a good prebiotic. Prebiotic feeds the probiotic, which allows you to get all the quality health strains that are needed. Gotcha. So what, uh, is there any kind of dosage or are there any that you recommend uh, that, sure. that people should be doing? Well, we, we've got the, you know, you said eight weeks to wellness. We've got the Nutridine over here, the Spore ProBio. I think mm -hmm. that's a great choice. It's got Bacillus subtilis, which is an endospore, which means that it's protected going through the gut, makes it to the intestinal tract. Therefore, it can pop pollinate. It also has the best prebiotic, which is called XOS, xylo oleosaccharides. That xylo oleosaccharide only feeds good bacteria. In addition to that, it's got something called bacteriophages. Bacteriophages were the option to antibiotics. We call antibiotics carpet bombers because they kill all kinds of bacteria. The bacteriophage kills a specific kind of bacteria. But here's the skinny on that. Not only is it unique in that it's like a sniper, but it creates a microenvironment in a gut of health, therefore fending off all onslaught. The gut microbiota is critical because it protects you against viruses in three different ways. So now you're getting a direct an indirect and a population that stops the growth of viruses through your gut health and through taking probiotics. Makes total sense. Um, so that one supplement has both. You don't need to take uh, a second thing, correct? No, well, I've got another one here from another company. It's a liquid probiotic. And I just happen to like a bunch. I take two to three different probiotics. People think I'm crazy. And, um, you know, because of all the bacteria, but, you know, you have 10 to 100 times more bacterial cells than human cells. So I like to pollinate and populate my gut with a bunch of probiotics. But remember the key probiotics with prebiotics. You can get some prebiotics from food, garlic, onions, kombucha, great prebiotic. If you don't give yourself prebiotics with your probiotic, and you take a probiotic, it may turn around and start eating your intestinal tract, and then you're going to have leaky gut and a compromise. You know, you used the word before, cytokines. We'll get to that. That's going to be real interesting when it comes to the gut. Um, 
I got a whole bunch of other things here. Real basic probiotic, vitamin. There you got your little Nutridyne, vitamin D3, mm -hmm. 5,000 with K2. Got to have K because K doesn't allow the vitamin D to bring calcium into arteries. So D3, 5,000, K2, great choice. Vitamin D, there's nothing been better that's put the brakes on inflammatory systems in your body. You want to put the brakes, you want to boost your immune system. Vitamin D3 is a great choice. So far, I haven't said anything really sexy when you think about it. It's stuff. Hey, that listen, we're not looking for sexy here. We're looking for like basics that, because it's, I, this, this interview isn't really for the, the nutritional warriors out there who know everything and are looking for that extra 1%. I'm talking about the, the, the run of the mill chiropractor that maybe doesn't talk about nutrition a lot in their practice, but wants to make sure that they're giving their, uh, their patients good, actionable advice. And I, you know, I, I just try to bring people, the experts on, on each and you know, each thing that I talk about. And, uh, you know, you're one of the guys that I absolutely needed to have on here. So great job. I appreciate that. So, so, so far we just got some probiotics and vitamin D. So uh, D3, like how much do you recommend? Uh, what, how do you take it? So like give some actionable things. Cause I want them to be able to, to listen to this, hit pause, write down the things that you say, and then deliver that either in a written form or in a spoken word to their patients so that they can feel confident that what they're telling them is the right thing. Real so, so how do they make sure that they get it in there? We'll start with the spore probiotic. We talked about it from Nutridyne. I recommend two per day. Two per day. Okay. And Two per day, really like easy. separated, you know, morning, Take afternoon. Morning. And I'm going to tell you, believe it or not, to take them with food. There's a big argument. Do you take probiotics with or without food? You get 10 people in there. Five will say with, five will say without. Take it with food because I try and take most of my supplements with food. Vitamin D3. Now, if you've been taking it, you probably only need one capsule, which is 5,000 IUs. If you're worried about the virus, Take one in the morning, take one at night. Vitamin D3 should be taken with food because it's a fat soluble vitamin needs to be taken with fat. Got so it. that works really well there. Here's one more thing. Liposomal glutathione. I like the liposomal. So it's a liquid, it's a pump. You squeeze it right in. What, what is glutathione? Glutathione is called the master antioxidant. So we know vitamin C is an antioxidant. Right. For every molecule of vitamin C, it ameliorates one to three free radicals. Vitamin E, one molecule, three to five free radicals. Glutathione, one million free radicals. So it's the master antioxidant. You want to kill something, you get glutathione in. I like the liposomal because if you took direct glutathione, it would die in the stomach from acid. Mm. Five pumps, twice a day. The liposomal protects it. It's a nanotechnology, so it gets to the desired tissues to get absorbed. Gotcha. The only way I would take glutathione is liposomal. Perfect, perfect. Uh, how about vitamin C? You mentioned vitamin C. Yeah, vitamin C is great. A little, in some ways, vitamin C is a little overrated. However, a liposomal vitamin C is still really good. Basic patients understand it. We've got some other fish oils. Mm -hmm. Again, this is basic. Again, we're not going high level. Yeah. Some fish oils are great because fish oils have a anti-inflammatory means about them. Yeah. They're also excellent because when you take them with probiotics, they support the probiotic and they also hold the probiotic against the intestinal tract to build up your immune system function. Yeah. We've got a specialized product here called Pro Resolving Mediators. I am extraordinarily robust on this. The pro-resolving mediators, which I would take two in the morning and two at night, they are precursors for the resolution of inflammation. And as chiropractors, we want to manage and modulate inflammation. And in this era right now, with all the things that are going on, people are inflamed. Mm -hmm. Pro-resolving mediators allow for the resolution of inflammation and allow for what we call the homostasis between the initiation and the resolution. If you want to bring inflammation down. So fish oils, you want to take about four grams, pro resolving mediators for soft drinks. Gotcha. Perfect. Uh, any other uh, things that people need to be thinking about? Yeah. You know what? Nutridyne and, you know, we talked about, we said we we're going to go over their line and highlight that. Yeah. Uh, they have something called immune support. Uh, excellent uh, product. It's got a ton of mushrooms again, to build your own innate immune system. It's got zinc. Zinc is great to help with the central nervous system, something we all know a little something about. Right. In addition to that, you could take some 
it's not funky. They are products for quercetin, resveratrol. These are things that are known to kill viruses. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? So talk a little bit about that in terms of like actually, uh, you know, being antiviral, I guess. Well, they're antiviral. They, they've shown uh, to be antiviral because they actually have shown one to kill the virus. So, you know, it's a very interesting thing. Do we want to build up our fort for so the virus can't come in and attack ourselves? You know, um, yeah. the virus's problem is it's a flu, but it's a flu that has spikes that go to the lungs. And that's where it really gets crazy. Mm -hmm. So, again, who gets it? Older people, immunocompromised people people who are immune system is compromised, they're much more susceptible to all the deleterious effects that, um, you know, coronavirus causes. Right. So you want to take all these things to build up your fort. Yeah. So it just doesn't get in. There are people now, um, uh, some of the athletes, you know, Donovan Mitchell just said today, you know what, I test positive and I, I don't feel anything. He's 23 years old. He's in great condition. So he's got it, but he's not showing symptoms of it. Right. So hopefully if we come across it with this type of supplementation, we'll be able to fend off all the symptomology and, you know, maybe just put the jack in a box and keep it in our immune system. Remember yeah. our immune system always remembers, always keeps track of what we have. We have a tendency to forget. Yeah. I, I you know, I'm, I'm a big believer that all of us are going to be exposed to it at some yeah. point. And it's whether you, you know, either fend it off completely uh, ha have it come in your asymptomatic, have mild symptoms, have severe die. There's a whole spectrum of things that are going to happen. It's not a, it, it's not an, if you're going to be uh, exposed to it, it's when, and it's how your body uh, responds to it. So um, in terms of the, let, let's say somebody does get it. Um, that's the part where I think that uh, everybody's talking about, you know, wash your hands, don't touch your face, take this supplement, that supplement, drink water, get rest. What can people do uh, once they test positive for it to give themselves the best chances of either staying asymptomatic, getting very mild symptoms and not letting it go to the lungs? You know, that's a great question because what do we do if we're all going to be exposed, a few of us are going to get it. And, uh, and some of us or many of us who follow the protocol that we just met and live the lifestyle that we're talking about yeah. probably aren't going to have the symptoms. So, you know, there's a major discussion with a bunch of us and I know we want to keep it simple. Once you get it, you want to overload on your immune system. So interestingly enough, all of us agreed, you know, every, again, everybody's got this, I got this new supplement. I got this new product. You double down, then you start taking in more for your gut health because that's going to produce your immune system. You, you talked a little bit about cytokines yeah. because you're going to be inflamed. You want to blood and cytokines. Of course, you can do all your Boswellia. You can do all your, um, curcumin these are critical because they're critical because they will kill cytokine growth in addition then's your time to start taking your powders to improve your gut health so again like a gi resolve uh gi um restore getting the needed nutrients in there to, to populate your gut is going to be a critical element so uh, just for people that may not uh know all the details of a cytokine storm can you uh, can you explain that so, you know, it's so funny with the cytokines, uh, where do most cytokines come? They come actually from your gut. Mm -hmm. So they're released, cytokines come out and they release these things called interleukins. There's 17 interleukins, not trying to get technical. 14 of them are inflammatory, three are anti-inflammatory. So they're off to the races and then they start attacking things. So curcumin is one of the things that we know that's able to slow down the attack of these interleukins. Mm -hmm. But where do these interleukins coming from those cytokines, like you say, come from? They come from your gut. Gotcha. So we got to get right in there. We got to populate your gut. We got to close it up. We got to make your immune system stronger through your gut because mm -hmm. your gut will produce the three interleukins that are healthy. And that's how you're going to fend off a lot of these infections. Got it. And having all the, you know, the, the GS, um, GPS, the DNA, all those things still, still apply. If that happens, you want to make sure that you eliminate all of those pieces if you haven't before, correct? Yeah. You know, again, I can't emphasize the food enough. I mean, you and I see patients, we talk, we talk to other chirals and what's the problem? Everybody coming in isn't healthy. Right. So, you know, it was an interesting statement today. They were talking about, um, 
doctors and a lot of the doctors are getting the virus. Of course, they're exposed. Right. One of the doctors says, yeah, we're exposed. We're, but the biggest problem is our lifestyle sucks. Yeah. So even though we're exposed, we have no defense mechanism. Because, you know, working in an emergency room, they may be up all night. They're probably yeah. overworked now. So, uh, w- you know, we, we know they're exposed and we know people are going to be exposed. But again, look at what's going on with them. Yeah. What, uh, what are your thoughts on, it seems like some of these ER doctors that are testing positive are, are developing into more severe symptoms, especially like younger ones. What are, what are your thoughts on, on, are they exposed to more like aerosol? virus or like what's the what's your thoughts on that well again you know i just talked to somebody in in a hospital a good buddy of mine and so far so good he's good he actually wants to stop by and get a treatment um and he says they're exposed you know they're telling people now not to come in they say you don't have to take the test because we don't have enough tests they're saying stay at home sounds like you have it um don't infect us all because yeah. it's highly um, contagious. Right. And I, I think it's their lifestyle. You know, chiropractic is all about lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I mean, we exercise, we take supplements, we, we talk in, um, a game of organic, and most of us do do it. Yeah. Whereas, unfortunately, the medical profession isn't really doing it, and, and they're in the trenches right yeah. now. And um, they're getting, some of them are getting ill. I mean, Sanjay Gupta was on CNN today. And he said nine of his colleagues got it, another 20 is getting tested for it. That's, yeah, I saw that. Won't be able to help people if they get sick. Yeah, and that's you know that's one of the worries uh, that I have for the for the healthcare system is if the if the frontline people uh, start going down, then it starts to become a a, um, a flywheel where it's like you know, yeah yeah what's, what's the word I'm looking for a uh, vicious cycle. That's what I was looking for, not a flywheel. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, basically just double down on the things that we talked about to be yeah. proactive about it. If you do uh, test positive, uh, can you say those, those uh, antivirals one more time? Sure. So I'll go through them all. So probiotic, do you want the actual uh, product name? Or yeah, just... that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I had them all in order too. Look at that. <laughs> so sp- by Nutridyne, Spore Probio, two a day. Immune support, you can take three a day, even though the bottle only says one. The immune support, what do you what do you have in there? You have a bunch of, uh, you have some vitamin D, not that much. You've got some zinc, you've got some selenium. Selenium is a missing link. So many people go for antiviral. If you don't have selenium, most of the antiviral formulas won't work. You've got a plethora of different mushrooms in here. Omega-3 fatty acids, you're gonna take two to four grams per day. Um, Vitamin D 5000 with K2. Love my vitamin D. Two sub, two soft gels, 10,000 I use per day. Liposomal by Nutridyne once again. Liposomal glutathione, like my liposomal. Five pumps twice a day. Glutathione, master antioxidant, kills a million free radicals. Nothing compares when it comes to that. Pro resolving mediators, a little special treat. Now, you want to talk about if you're sick up the dosage on this. So I would recommend two in the morning, two at night. Perfect. Perfect. Um, all right. So anything else on, on supplementation or, or, um, um, uh, food that you want to, that we haven't talked about that you want to, before we start talking about some other things? Yeah. You know what? Eat those. I want to reiterate, make sure you eat those clean foods. I know you're not going to have those choices, nothing in bags. You know, I, I, um, I came down the stairs cause I don't want to take the elevator. And I saw them in the stairs, they were eating Doritos because they went to the candy uh, machine or whatever it was. Yeah. And it's just like, how's, how's that going to help you? Yeah. And um, like I said, the test, the fit test, you're going to love that fit test because it's a food inflammation test and you, know, you can take it at home. It's a little finger swab. Right now I'm telling everybody, if you're really worried about inflammation, let's find out what foods you're inflamed. And a lot of people are doing it because yeah. right now health is at the front line for them. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about some other things. Uh, you had some other uh, suggestions for just, you know, keeping people healthy. And I, I did, you know, I do a lot. Everybody knows I do a lot of laser therapy here. Um, and um, there's a, Arconio has a, a, a laser called the EVRL. It's got a violet light in there, 405. Yeah. And um, that 405 is antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral. So right now, 
I strongly recommend if you have one or, you know, you have access to one, start doing it, putting over your skin, you know, after each patient, people think I'm crazy. I wash my hands. I use my little um, disinfectant. I laser my hand and then I put my hands back in gloves. I mean, that's what I've been doing. And I yeah. do it right in front of all my patients. Yeah. So without question, the EVRL, great, great choice. Here's one of the takeaways also, vagus nerve stimulation. Okay. So for me, I do a lot of vagus nerve, medulla oblongata, down through the transverse colon. I stimulate the vagus nerve, not only to get the gut to brain axis, the vagus nerve is great to also communicate with the central nervous system. And it's shown that when the vagus nerve is balanced and tone is up, this will upregulate the tone. Your immune system is firing on all cylinders. Okay. Be a proponent of the violet light, not just for the skin, but also for the vagus nerve. So uh, just give me like a quick little protocol of how to, how to run that. Um, so yeah. you're stimulating. Make it sure you can see everything here. Yeah. Right. And medulla oblongata. Let me get it on. So the, there, here's the violet light. So you can see that it's violet. Almost looks violet blue on my shirt. Mm -hmm. Medulla oblongata down through the transverse colon. And now I'm in the transverse colon. Both right. sides. 30 seconds, which should take about three to five passes. Found this to be increasingly effective. And you know, interesting as an aside, when this all goes away in 30 or 90 days or whenever it does, hopefully God willing, yep. Vegas nerve stimulation is great for all the chiropractors and they should consider it for their armamentarium. Perfect, perfect. Um, any thoughts on, uh, on chiropractic as an immune system booster? Uh, you know, kind of in, in simple terms that people can be explaining it um, to their patients? Absolutely. You know, the central nervous system is the hub. We know that. And I'm not what you call the straight chiropractor. We always have these arguments, but there's no argument that chiropractic works. Um, so being adjusted is, is going to allow the central nervous system to function better. I mean, there's mm -hmm. study after study, Hadi Havik, uh, amongst many, are doing studies that are showing that if the central nervous system is functioning better, our immune system is functioning better. We right. forget our central nervous system is our spinal cord in our brain. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they, they, I think that it's on Facebook 100 years ago, a little over 100 years ago, it was the... Uh, the flu in 1918, yeah. 1920. So you see all the people that didn't get chiropractic care for those who did, there yeah. was definitely a change and everything like that. And we're not trying to make any statements, but we know without question, chiropractic is going to help with immune function. And when you add in the lifestyle that we just talked about, you're giving yourself the best opportunity to thrive in this yeah. moment in history. Yeah. So as somebody who's like, I mean, you're right next to the, I mean, New Rochelle's locked down. Uh, right. So you're right near the epicenter. What are you uh, doing in terms of your practice? Uh, how have you communicated with the patients, the staff? Like, what are your thoughts right now? Um, well, the staff's all wearing gloves. They're getting treated every day chiropractically. They're getting lasered. They're all on the protocol that we just mentioned and more. Um, yesterday was a very crowded day in the office. We saw a, a nice amount of new patients. They closed the, remember, I'm, I'm in New York. Yeah. Uh, they closed the restaurants. I mean, everything's going on. Today, there was a big drop off because a lot of the government officials are asking everybody to stay home. Yeah. So um, I'm in the office right now. I saw a couple of emergencies. We're probably going to shut down for a couple of days and just go uh, virtual. Is uh, I'll be actually Facebooking every day at one o'clock. Anybody who's mm -hmm. interested. We'll get you on with me too. We'll talk about some things. I'll be answering yeah. questions about the virus. I'll be answering any questions, showing exercises. Uh, we're going to start with that tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'll be with eight weeks to wellness on Friday at three o'clock, helping yeah. them out. Um, so we're going to do things virtually. The only thing you can't get virtual is an adjustment. Right. So right. hopefully Monday we can get around it and start adjusting people. But if you don't feel well, you know what, stay at home and go on the protocol. Yeah. What, uh, I know that you do a lot of, um, you know, telemedicine, uh, yeah. what, what, uh, for, for those people that are maybe wanting to, to start something like that, maybe even not, pay, maybe not even paid, but just to be able to be in communication with patients, what, what's like the tech stack? Like, what do you, how do you have that set up to, to where that works for you? You know, it's funny you say that zoom has a HIPAA compliant, uh, channel. You can use that. We're on a zoom. Yep. Um, if you just want to talk to people and there's nothing that you're concerned about, you yeah. 
I have my phone right here. You've got your phone. So on your phone, you can FaceTime, you can WhatsApp, you can Facebook them. You can use the Zoom like we're talking about. So there's multiple platforms that you can get in touch with people to communicate. So I happen to use Zoom a lot um, because this way I can control it and send it. Get on with them. Start talking to them. Um, nutrition is really easy to do online because you and I can have the conversation. Like I said, you got the fit test. You can have the home kit can be sent right there. Yeah. Supplements can be sent right there. The big thing is I'm not going to be able to put my hands physically on you. Right. However, a lot of my chiro patients have booked um, appointments and we're going to talk them through certain things already. They did it for, they, they, they're in lockdown, they're in self quarantine yeah. and they want me to go over how to do the uh, brace. So I'll be in my house. I'll be in my basement. I'll show them. Here's how you have to brace. Let me see you brace. So it's the same thing in the office. The only thing I won't make the physical uh, correction. I strongly recommend everybody stay in touch. We're going to yeah. be emailing everybody right now. Our, our idea is once a week, it could be, even more than that. We're sending out an email today for different links um, and how we're doing it. You got to stay in contact because if we have to close for a period of time, um, it, you know, when we restart, it, it just won't be where we want it to be. Right now, people need help and they need some leadership and health leadership. Yeah. And um, I think that it's time for chiropractic to step forward. I, I think, you know, just, just talking out loud about this, um, I haven't really had this discussion yet. But just having this discussion, I think it's such an opportunity to where if you get a HIPAA compliant Zoom set up and you reach out to every single one of your patients and just be like, hey, just want to let you know I'm still here for you. Um, I've, I've set up a uh, an online mode that if you have any questions, if you want to schedule an appointment with me, we can definitely do that. And whether you want to charge for that or not, I think people will just like to have a hotline into somebody who knows what they're talking about. And even if you don't know what you're talking about right now, I feel like you could scale up. That's why I'm trying to do a lot of these interviews over the next few weeks to just give people the language that they might need. And like, you don't have to have Robert Silverman's entire life knowledge. You might just need to know this 1% that you can have the same conversation a hundred different times with people, but it's the one time that they're hearing it. I agree. And, and I, I, I want to piggyback on what you said. So I'm not charged. If they have some questions or they need me to show them something, I'm not charging. It's if they're booking what they call like a nutrition session or I need to go over a whole bunch, that's yeah. a different story. I w you need to be in contact. People need help. I mean, yeah. it's a weird thing now. Like I said, there's a lot of uh, concern where I am. They've used the word panic. I don't want to use that word, a little uh, disparaging. Right. And when you tell them, look, I'm here, we have this. You're going to be okay if you follow that. And if you have a problem, you can call me. I can tell you people are looking for that because they're, oh, yeah. they're a little scared where I am right now. And, and we can, like I said, it's our time to step forward. Right. If, uh, you know, if you think of it as, as this is my flock and you want to take care of that flock, you know, if every office took care of every person that they had a file for, we'd be covering you know, probably half the population, even if they haven't been in it six years, just being like, Hey, I just wanted to reach out and make sure that you know that I'm here for you, even though you haven't been in a while. Um, you know, right now, a lot of people are scared and, uh, and I just want you to know that you have a health professional that you can reach out to that we've got time for. We're going to be here in the office. We're not going to be seeing patients, but it, I mean, some, some might are uh, like, we're still seeing patients in the office, but if they decide that everything, all non-essential stuff and they don't, qualify us as essential. If they make us shut down, you, you could still be in the office having appointments with people. It just doesn't have to be hands-on. And a lot of the things that are going to boost people's immune system, it's like, yes, I think an adjustment is going to boost their immune system. But if you can't do that, then make sure that you've got all the other stuff. Like we don't have to act like the, the adjustment is the silver bullet. There's a lot of other tools in our tool belt that, cause like they can't call Nutridyne and get uh, supplementation. They've got to go through us. That's most, right. most really good, pure supplements are going to need to go through a health professional. So if you believe in the supplements that you're selling in your practice, then you need to be in touch with them to let them know, here's what we should be doing based off of the protocol that I think is going to be best for you. I agree. You know, it's funny. My medical doctor sent me a text today and he, he said, don't ever forget that when people are comfortable with you, you get a placebo effect. And that's 30% and that builds immune system. That was a medical doctor friend of mine. Right, right. So to speak to what you said, you are preaching to the choir here. Yeah. Like if we're there for them now, they'll be there for us later. And uh, 
you know, we're going to get over this. Yeah. And you know, with, as stress goes up, immune system goes down. Right. And so a lot of people are just in their house. They're watching the news nonstop. They're on Facebook nonstop. They're hearing, they're here. They're, they're like, if they're, if they tend to be scared, they're going to be attracted to the things that scare them. Right. And they're just going to get scared more. And it just, it just feeds on itself. If they had a person that they could reach out to and get sensible conversation and advice from on what they can do to be proactive, it, I think it would, it would give them more control over what a situation that feels uncontrollable to them right now. And, you know, the news anchors aren't going to talk back to them. Like they're just going to give them the information that they want to give them. Um, if you're there for your patients and I mean like completely there, man, I just can't, like you said, when, when this, when this goes away, we, we may have lost some momentum. I mean, if you go into it thinking you want to build momentum for when you come out the other side, your practice might double when you come, when we come out of this, because I think that when we're over this, I think that people are going to finally understand that the, uh, the outside in is not the answer that it's all the inside out, because if you've got the strong inside, you're going to, you're, you're going to stay in the mild symptoms. You're going to stay in the asymptomatic. You're going to stay in the not getting it at all. And I think it's such an opportunity for chiropractic because medicine's going to keep talking about medicine. Right. And if we really tackle the lifestyle conversation when this thing is over, I think it could be a golden era for chiropractic. I think so. I think this is our opportunity because it's our opportunity to help people. Yeah. And people need help right now. Yeah. And I think we've got great tools to help them and great tools to help them in conjunction with what they may have to do with the medical profession. Absolutely. And, and you're right. If, if you know, uh, my wife was watching, it's really weird. She was watching Days of Thunder last night. Yeah. And Robert Duvall is telling Tom Cruise, just go through, just go through. He's like, he's going to put me on the wall. And she's go through, go through. And he went through, he lied to him, but he just believed in him and he won the race. Right. So I'm sitting there and I'm going, oh my God, I've got to watch a Tom Cruise film to realize, <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to hold everybody's hand and just be, believe in them and be there for them. Yeah. I think people are looking for leadership now more than anything. And I think that if you can be that leader, um, with good, truthful, fact-based information that, that they're going to look to you forever more um, for, for that information, even after we get past this. Anybody who has any questions, not going to charge, no problem. You can get through me on Facebook, Dr. Robert Silverman. If it's Instagram, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Info at Dr. Robert Silverman. Kick me an email. Ask me. It's not a problem. I answer all my emails within 12 hours. With 12, not 24. I'm good that <laughs> I don't need to sleep like six. I know, I know I should do more, yeah. but I'm happy to answer email. If I can't help you, I'm sure Dr. Nick can, we'll find somebody that can help you. Yeah. If you need, if you need help with content, call me. If you need help with nutritional advice, call Dr. Silverman. Like, I don't know That's if I'm the great content, man. I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. And I think that this is the time, you know, like if, if we do have to go into isolation, if we do have to quarantine, I think that this is the moment, like, Every chiropractor needs to be thinking, what am I going to do with this time, right? How am I going to come out of here stronger? And I think what, what we were talking about, pouring into your patients is worth a whole lot of your time. Creating content to stay, there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on Facebook. There's going to be a lot of eyeballs on Instagram. Now is the time to get, it doesn't have to all be coronavirus content. It can just be about lifestyle. It can be about, you need to be a good example to the flock that you lead. And I think that if, if those are the two things that you put your, your real uh, effort and energy into, which is pouring into your patients and creating content that they can, they can latch on to, I think that all of us are going to be much better off um, on, the, on the back end of this thing. I agree. And you are the content king. I love what you do. <laughs> I'm going to TM that content king. <laughs> I appreciate it, buddy. Is there anything else? Uh, you know, I always feel like you, you not only are you wealth of knowledge, but you always got a lot of like good inspirational stuff to say. You're so convicted. You're so like, uh, on purpose with, uh, with what you talk about. Is there anything that you can just tell people out there to make them feel better about, uh, about this situation that are chiropractors out there a little bit worried maybe? Yeah. You know, it's funny. Um, I was talking to my, uh, my mom, and, you know, Jewish boy calling his mom. How you doing, mom? And everything. She's going to be 91. You know what she said? What's that? She said, this is nothing. We made it this far. We're going to come through it. And it's all going to be better. It's just another test for us. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. She says, go help some people and get off the phone. 
There you go. <laughs> so we're going to be good. Yeah. And, um, you know, again, adhere to the chiropractic principles, which are lifestyle. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Well, I really appreciate your time. Um, appreciate all your guidance. That was a very generous offer to be able to answer any questions for, uh, that anybody might have. Uh, so that's uh, uh, Dr. Robert Silverman on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, anywhere that you're creating content that they can keep up with that uh, will be Absolutely. helpful. Come to my website, Dr. Robert Silverman, Facebook. We're going to be on it every day. Awesome. At all my seminars, and you probably know this already, yep. that we're all going online right now till May. You know what? It's great. If, if anybody, you know, wants to talk about something or has a little problem or some questions, we can do what we're doing now. Awesome. And um, I look forward to shaking hands with people again. <laughs> Absolutely. No more elbow bumps. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. And I uh, can't wait to see you in person. Looking forward to it. Thanks for having me on. You do a great job. All right, brother. Thanks.